How's it going, guys? Um, I was going to make a full-fledged, narrated uh, video review of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's expansion called The Frozen Wilds, but um, something came up at my work, and I have to work a lot more hours now, and uh, I just, especially this weekend, I just don't have time to make a full review, so I'm just going to talk about it like I do with many games. Um, the Frozen Wilds, uh, you play as Aloy again. It's, uh, it's not a standalone expansion. Um, there, there's a map uh, that opens up in the northern part. Um, you work with the Banuk tribe, that's what they call them, um, to find and take down a sentient known as a daemon, not Matt Daemon, but D-A-E-M-O-N, um, that is making the machines in that area a lot more powerful and deadly. Um, and that's pretty much the main plot. I mean, there wasn't uh, anything that I complained about in terms of the story. I thought the story was pretty good. Th th there was a good amount of variety for the, the asking price. Um, it's $20 or $15 if you have... Uh, PS Plus. I, I believe it's still 15. That could have been just the pre-order, but I pre-ordered it for 15 uh, because I had PS Plus. There's a little bit of everything. There's there's one tall neck to um, scale to unlock the, the the visuals of the map. There's one bandit camp to take over. There's one uh, hunting ground hunting ground trial. Um, there's one cauldron that you explore as a part of the story, and um, there's a good amount of side missions, and a lot of the side missions are very, um, they feel very important. They feel very, um, substantial. They're not, there are a few ones that are kind of like fetch quests, but most of them are very meaningful and substantial in terms of story. Uh, the side missions are very well done. Uh, the visuals are great as always. The, um, I found the lip sticking to be like, even better, like they improved the lip syncing. Um, maybe, maybe my memory of the base game isn't too good, but the the facial animations look a lot better this time. I don't know if that's just an update or if it it, it is a part of the the DLC. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of um, the, it's more of the same basically. Um, Added, added features include uh, being able to level up your character to level 60, um, which also includes uh, a new ability tree called Traveler. Um, and you can also now mod your spears. Um, however, these additions didn't really change the way I played the game. I still played it the same way with or without these new features. So, you know... Um, and also, um, yeah, there are a few bugs that I encountered, um, like swimming and then, uh, you know what, fuck, I'm just, I'm just gonna show it to you. And then I, I believe there were a couple more bugs. Oh, like, um, this, uh, this snap mock, uh, it, it's like an alligator m machine, giant alligator machine, um, that was stuck in water for some reason. It, it, no matter how many times it tried attacking me, it, it got stuck in the water and couldn't get out. The first half of the fight, it was completely ignoring me and going into circles.
Um, so that was kind of annoying. Um, and, um, yeah, it, it's just kind of buggy, which is going to get patched. Um, and, yeah, uh, basically what it all boils down to is if you like Horizon Zero Dawn, you're going to like the Frozen Wilds. However, if you didn't like Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds isn't going... It, it's not going to do anything to change your mind. It's not going to do anything to really make you like it more. It's simply more of the same overall experience. It didn't really fix any of the things that I found wrong with Horizon Zero Dawn, like the combat. I, I, I still think the combat is terrible. I, think, I still think the, the, the enemies that knock you around on your ass constantly over and over with zero recovery time is still annoying as shit. But overall, um, for 20 bucks, um, you get about 15 hours of game time, give or take. Maybe 12 to 15, depending on how much you put into the hunting ground trial. Um, so, it, it's a fair deal for 20 bucks. Um, however, I do highly recommend it for 15 if you enjoy the base game of Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, anyway guys, it's uh, getting a little late. I just got back from work, so... Well, that'll have to do it for now. Uh, my final score for Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds, would have to be... an 8. An 8 out of 10. It's, it's a good, solid DLC. Not as good as, say, you know, The Witcher 3's DLCs, or, you know, Bloodborne, The Old Hunters, or anything. But, it, it's... It's a welcome addition to an already, you know, great game. Um, Alright guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully. The Gamer Gods! Bam!